Bigelow at Bigelow East Coast Review, back again, and that's right, today we're here to do a little, little something different, you know. Um, as of late, I've been reaching out to companies to see if uh, they'd be willing to withstand a Bigelow East Coast Review on their product. And usually I like to pinpoint certain companies, so this is me reaching out to companies, so I like to pinpoint certain companies that I take an interest in. Um... Usually I like to pinpoint a company that does something charitable, you know, kind of like the beef jerky video I did uh, about a week or two ago, uh, the bearded jerky company guys, you know, check those guys out, check out that previous video, I did it about like two weeks ago, it's on my uh, channel, and uh, you know, they donate, you know, for every certain amount of packages of beef jerky you buy, they donate beef jerkies to specific causes, and I think that's actually really cool. Now, this company that we're going to be talking about today is ugly and i mean ugly i mean this company is just ugly but it's interesting though <laughs> okay now they sent me a case which usually runs around 30 bucks for a case and this is ugly seltzers okay they're basically carbonated waters and a lot of people out there might use soda stream or they might use uh i don't know they like vintage seltzer or or whatever your local like supermarket will carry as far as seltzer goes whether it's canada dry or schweppes or this or that but a lot of those are like super carbonated and there's a lot of them that are flavored today which eventually i'm going to be doing reviews on also just to give you my opinion because if you like my opinion and you value my opinion you might share the same view and uh you know once you do the comparatives yourself, you know, maybe we share the same. Even though taste is very subjective. It is very subjective. Okay. Now, uh, in, this, in this video, we will not be doing any chewing sounds or crunchy sounds or anything like that for the misophonias out there that have issues with cringing, loud crunching sounds. But in the event of the future, I will continue to do so. That's just the way I chew just to distinguish flavors but when it comes to drinking i don't sit there and sip and uh make loud noises i just drink seltzer i enjoy seltzer i enjoy sparkling water sparkling water to me is great it's just like the difference between eau de toilet or eau de perfume okay eau de perfume has no alcohol in it and it lasts longer and it's stronger eau de toilet usually smells a little cheaper and it's uh, colognes with like really strong alcohols in it and so forth and they have a tendency to evaporate quicker because of the alcohol which means you end up using more but then eau de toilet they end up having a funk to them that smell really bad okay over with over usage okay so um, we're gonna go ahead and do an unboxing here on this $30 case of seltzer okay now i don't know what they sent me because i asked them to send me something because initially i was going to do a comparison video between uh one seltzer company and another and what i figured is is you know i'm going to try a majority or a good amount i don't want to waste i don't like to waste product so i'm going to try you know a few of these in here maybe i'll drink them through the course of this video and give you my honest opinion and how i feel about them now they're real big into facts okay now they like to get the details and when they say git they spell git g-i-t just like in the uk when you call an old man a git uh like dirty old git so uh yeah on their website it says get dim details and i'll show you the website in a minute uh but interestingly enough though uh we're gonna open this box we're gonna see what's inside and i gotta tell you this i'm really excited because this company also does charitable things as well. They uh, donate to Girl Up and Oceanic Global, okay? Now, if you want more information on those companies, you can go to their website, which I'll put a link in the description, or maybe I'll put it somewhere on the screen here. They also have an Instagram with 23,600 followers, and they follow as, uh, people as well, but they also have like a lot of specials and deals and information and a lot of facts. And I dig that a lot, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and grab my $5 knife that I picked up from a local guy off the street. Open that up. Now, I've never in my life received a box, like a case, like a huge case of soda. Cases of beer, absolutely. 
Ooh, this is pretty cool. Okay, now when you open up the flap, there's some information on the inside right here, which it will say, chill, enjoy, and refill. Okay. Mm. All right. So chill, they says, like most things in life, chill for the best results. Enjoy, join the ugly mob at, at ugly drinks or hashtag the ugly truth. Now us vapors, we, we enjoy, you know, everything about truth facts and everything, okay? And refill, it's uglydrinks.com if you're looking to purchase their uh, products. Now, when I open it, there's a receipt, which is cool. And then in here, I have a lemon lime. Uh, so we have lemon lime flavored sparkling water. There's eight ugly cans per case. And I believe they're 16 ounces each. Yep, uh, no, they're 12 ounces each for a total milliliter size of 355 millimeters, uh, milliliters, or 2.84 liters, or 96 fluid ounces. Okay, now they're boasting zero sugar, zero calorie sweetener, and nothing artificial. So zero calories, zero sweetener, zero sugar, and nothing artificial, okay? And in this receipt, let's see. They're at a Groveport, Ohio, okay? Spiegel Drive in Groveport, Ohio. I guess that's where they're located, so it's an Ohio-based company. But they do ship all over the United States and the UK as well. Um, here we go again. We have Cherry. I'm a big Cherry fan. Big Cherry fan. Okay, and then... Peach. So we have peach, lemon lime, and cherry. Okay, so we'll open up one can of each just to try the flavorings on them. And just to see if there's anything hidden in the box, we just have a box. And now I got basically an empty suitcase of a box. So I'm actually probably gonna use that to put products uh, that I have lingering around the house that I have nowhere to stick it. I like the box, it's blue and it's pretty loud. Uh, it's, it says, please recycle, but Instagram me first. Okay. So they expect you to Instagram the box. So you're supposed to take a picture of the, uh, take a picture of the box. So you receive in the box and then posting it on Instagram. And, uh, and that's about it. So let's, uh, let's check these out. Now the box itself, if I check out the nutritional facts, eight servings per container, serving size, one container, total fat, zero, sodium, zero, total carbohydrate, zero, total sugars, zero, includes zero added sugars. Not significant source of a saturated fat, trans fat, and cholesterol dietary fiber, vitamin D, calcium, ion, iron, and potassium. Percentage daily values are based on a 2000 calorie diet. Ingredients, sparkling water. Natural flavor. That's it. Okay, so they're saying they're sodium free, BPA under uh, under free, or oh no, BP liner. Sorry, BPA liner free. So it's no BPAs uh, or no BPA liner. I think I know what that is, but I'm not actually sure. Uh, certified vegan, vegan.org, certified gluten free, and they're asking to please recycle. All right, interesting box, cool design. Now, just like any type of soda can case, you just insert fingers right here so you can break the seal and then peel back. Then you're able to open the box. Okay, now you can slide this into your refrigerator and just take cans as you go. So that's usually what I do. And this is no sweetener, no calories, no sugar, nothing artificial. That's the can itself. It says ugly on the can and like a graffiti bubble type of letter, I guess. There's a big tongue over there and then there it says ugly right there. Ugly and peach, which I think that's pretty cool. Um, what else? Let's see, we, over here we have the cherry. Okay, let's open up the cherry. It's a little humid, so the box is a little damp, okay. So the box is a little damp because of humidity in New York right now. The humidity is insane today. It's like 100 degrees of humidity. So my box is a little not as stiff. 
There we go. Remove that one. Ah, so very nice. So we've got lemon lime, cherry, and peach. <laughs> so ugly seltzers for the beautiful people out there. Okay. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just crack this open. Oh, let's see. Sounds kind of bubbly. Let's see. Yes. Has that sparkling sound to it. Now, if I put it up to the light, I see bubbles flying out of the can. I see water droplets popping and bubbling and bursting out of the can. Mmm. Now there's a lemon lime. It's got a nice scent. And they fill it all the way up to the tippy top of the can. So it's actually filled all the way up. It's not like over here, it's not somewhere in the middle over there. It's right up to the top. It smells really nice though. I'm gonna take a sip. Mm. It's a nice, very light taste. No aftertaste. Mm. On their website, they have actual water facts on the details of the water that they use. So if you're looking for uh, where it's sourced and how it's cleaned and so forth, it's all on their website. You can check it out on their website, which I think is pretty cool because imagine Coca-Cola displaying what they have in their water. <laughs> that would be fun. I'd like to know, I'd really like to know what's in Coca-Cola. Now, it's not overly seltzery, like overly like gassy, where it's just like hard to drink. You know, my initial, when I first put it into my mouth and took a little sip, I had a thought in my mind, oh, maybe this is a little too gassy, but not really. You get that tingle on your, your lips and your tongue when you take that first gulp in, but I'm not burping. Usually salsa makes me burp. I'll get a tiny little, 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 like in here, I feel on my throat go, mm, but nothing like, Bruh, you know, I guess if I down this, I could probably let out a monstrous burp or something, but here goes one can. I'll try and burp. That was nothing. That was like nothing. Usually when I do seltzer burps, it's like, Bruh! you know, but it, it wasn't even that. Not too gassy, not too gassy at all, but the lemon lime, it's nice, it's pleasant. Now, some people get like an overactive uh, amount of saliva in their mouth after drinking seltzer, okay? Or any type of sparkling water. I got a little residual of that. Not a lot, just a little residual of like feeling some saliva happening in my mouth, which I guess is normal with seltzer in general. Okay, so nothing left of that one. So you can see that I actually drank that, okay? Now, we're gonna try cherry. Sounds pretty good. I feel a burp coming on. Okay, so it finally settled in my stomach and it finally burped. Mmm, dope. Cherry, wow. Mmm. The cherry tastes really good. That's a really, that's, that's a more predominant flavor than I had with the lemon lime. The lemon lime was good. It was subtle, very, very subtle. But this one, it's like a punch to your tongue with cherry. But it's like, it 
It doesn't taste like a cherry candy. I'm trying to think. It's almost like a Bazooka, Go Bazooka Joe bubble gum. Like that kind of cherry. It doesn't taste like cherry cough syrup or Robitussin or anything like that. Or it doesn't taste like Swedish fish. <laughs> How can you not be happy when you hear that song? Mm. It almost has the same equivalent of how the carbonation process of beer. Okay, now if you, if you follow me, now just hear me out. Beer, when you drink a pint of beer, it's got this carbonation effect to it when you get it on tap. Or if you just, you know, pour it in a glass. So it's a slight carbonated uh, essence to beer. Okay, when beer is flat, you don't like beer. It's just gross. Or if you go to a bar or pub and you're drinking a flat beer, you're like, ugh. They're going to change their pumps or something. But this is along the same consistency of effervescence or bubbles or sparkliness of a beer. I mean, that's uh, <clears throat> pretty rock solid, okay? All right, so one and two cans of seltzer down. So I'm going to burp. I'm sorry. That's just a fact of life. Please don't thumbs down the video. I'm just a human being, okay? Can't be perfect. <sighs> Not bad at all. Not bad. I'm really, really digging it. The cherry was really good. Mm-hmm. Now what's left is the peach. Now peach... I'm a little worried about the peach because not a lot of things peach that I like. You know, I like peach jelly rings, um, peach ice in like vaping products. Uh, I like those flavors, you know, like Red's uh, Apple Peach Ice. That's a, a favorite of mine. I actually enjoy that flavor a whole bunch. But uh, we're going to give this one a try. It says, get real, get ugly. Okay, let's see. Doesn't sound too fizzy on this one. I'm not getting, I'm getting a slight bubbly flying out. This one doesn't seem as effervescent as the two previous ones. Oof, that's a very strong peach smell. Hmm, but it's nice though. It's it's not like strong where you're like, oh god, I can't drink it. It's like, hmm. <clears throat> Oof. All right, we're going to go in for the taste. Wow. Wow. The first initial intake of drinking it, it almost tastes like canned peaches. It's hard to explain, but you know like when you get canned peaches, they're like... Not the slimy effect of canned peaches, just that initial fake peach taste of a, of like a, not fake, but a, but you know what I'm saying, when you have like a canned peach, you get canned peaches, they're like, they got this, they're super sweet, and I got like this glazing, silky coating on them, but the taste of the peach does not remind me of a taste of an actual peach, so... This peach flavoring reminds me the first initial open your mouth, pour it in, let your nose and taste buds start working it. Tastes like a canned peach. And then after it's down, my aftertaste, I know you're going to tell me I'm crazy, but the aftertaste tastes just like a peach. 
I don't know what to tell you. I mean, this is good, okay? So canned peach on the very first initial, and then on the second, like, sec as soon as it goes down, it's just like that lingering. Hmm. My apologies. I I beg your pardon. Mm. Not bad. Oh my god. Wow. So 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 happy. Um let's check out their website real quick. Let's do that. So here we are on their website. This is Ugly's website. You can go to uglydrinks.com. Com, okay, I'm in the shopping section just to go over the flavors real quick. They got Dr. Ugly, which is basically Dr. Pepper, Cherry Cola, Fruit Punch. Now, these are available flavors. You could add them to your cart. Uh, you could pick up a case. A case usually contains 30 cans in a case. Uh, but in this situation, it's saying 24 cans in the cases of these products right here. So uh, Fruit Punch, Cherry Cola, and Dr. Ugly, it's going to be 24 cans per case. You could also subscribe and probably get some sort of deals as well. Uh, they have orange soda, which is uh, flavored sparkling water as well, as well as the other products on this page. And they also carry still products and also energy drinks as well. But right here we got orange soda, the variety pack, which I got, which is the cherry, the lemon lime, and the peach. Uh, I'm interested in trying out the cherry soda and also the um, orange soda and cherry soda. I'm interested in trying those out. But if you want to buy them singular, you could buy them in cases singular of 24 cans as well. Uh, it says here, did you know you can save 10% with Auto Magic? Okay, Auto Magic is the code you could use at checkout to save 10%. Okay, uh, here's their energy drink line. They got energy mango soda, energy fruit punch, and energy lemon lime. Um, I think we're starting to go into, ooh, no, this is actually available. They have a pink grapefruit. I'd be interested in definitely trying that flavor out. That's for sure. Uh, cherry, lemon, lime, and still, which is just basically flat water, not uh, effervescent or bubbly water at all, so not seltzer. And you can pick up cases, whether it's uh, still and sparkling or just their sparkling that's unflavored. Um, let's see. They have here, okay, they have root beer. Oh, but these are these are limited editions, and some are limited editions, and some are just sold out. So limited edition root beer is sold out, and they have strawberry cream soda, blue raspberry. Uh, I'd be very interested in definitely trying these as well. Uh, they have a marshmallow flavor, which sounds awesome, grape soda flavor, and sour apple. I'm guessing the, the marshmallow probably tastes like a cream soda. Uh, the grape soda I'd definitely be interested in, and a sour apple. All these flavors sound delicious. Pumpkin spice, I'm guessing that's probably around the holidays they have that available. They also have spooky, which is orange soda and green uh, sour apple. So I guess the orange with the green, you know, Halloween type of style. They have candy cane, ugly seltzer. I'm guessing this is probably around the holidays, around Christmas time they have that available. And also classic cola. Now, who doesn't like cola. I'm sure everyone out there loves cola. But, uh... So we're back. And I gotta say... Peach is dope. The cherry is awesome. Lemon line, a little subtle. I wish there was a little bit more zesty, limey taste, but... That's okay. You know... It's a mixture of both citruses. I get it. I'm hoping, you know, I'm going to go to the website and maybe pick up like an orange flavor. They got a whipped cream flavor. I mean, they got a lot of flavors on their site. And um, as you've seen on their website, they got a ton of flavors on there. So keep in mind that if you're a seltzer person and you like certain seltzers, if you're just... You know, if you're die hard, certain sparkling or semi-sparkling waters, you know, I'm not bashing those products, okay? I'm just saying I like checking out the companies that you may not know, okay? That's about it. Putting it out there for the people, but really good. I'm 
super excited I'm going to put it in my fridge. So you can see, <laughs> empty, empty, empty. So three cans of seltzer in one sitting, which I love seltzer. It doesn't matter to me because this was an awesome experience. I'm totally looking forward to it. And I'm not even going to recycle. I'm going to repurpose these cans. I know a lot of you are going to be like, oh my God, Big Lou doesn't recycle. No, I do recycle, okay? However, I'm going to repurpose those cans. I'm going to turn these cans into backyard lanterns. I'm going to drill a little hole in there, put a light bulb in there, and hang these ugly cans up on a string of lights and make them uh, repurposed, you know, hang them up in my yard, make them repurposed, do something cool. You know, I, I like repurposing things. I like taking something for what it once was and turn it into something different and make it better. However, uh, my overall review on this product, really nice. Um, my mouth, I get a slight hint, very slight hint of that back of the mouth, dry mouth, but not even, well, yeah, you know, like that foamy spit, like just slightly in the back of the mouth. But I have had other seltzers that will do that to you like that. Like as soon as you drink it and you're sitting there for a second, boom, you got a foamy mouth. This one, not so much at all, just very slight. You know, nothing's going to be 100%. But however, my review on this product is they're A, delicious, B, flavorful, uh, not too carbonated, not and not too little carbonation somewhere in between like i said almost like the carbonation of a beer it's very similar to a carbonation of a beer but maybe just a slight bit more than a beer that's it but it has that feeling okay now me being a sober person that's what made it remind me of so that's actually pretty cool i like that <laughs> So I'm pretty happy, guys, and uh, I know, you know, we'd love to be reviewing vaping products, but unfortunately, you know, it is what it is. It's really tough to do that these days on YouTube, so taking a different direction. I hope you guys appreciate the work that I do put in. Uh, from time to time, I will be reviewing other vaping products that I do have that I never reviewed. Uh, it's almost kind of pointless to review them since you may not or may or may not be able to still get the product. However... I'm um, still going to put it out there just for the enjoyment factor and just for the discussion factor. So from me to YouTube, peace out. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here. Laters. Uh.